Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you the capabilities of this new plugin called Thump. This plugin specializes in giving bass more character, but you can use it on anything you want really, the possibilities are endless. So real quick, I'm, I'm going to run through each of these parameters, and then after that we're just going to listen to see what they do. So first off, um, I really enjoy the layout of this plugin, it looks great. Uh, it has all your essential features for a smooth workflow. Um, in this menu right here. Very important stuff, because this is where all your presets are and everything. You can save them there, bring them back at any time. And my personal favorites, the undo and redo features and the copy and paste functions. Uh, this plugin also has a randomize button, which is a lot of fun to use. It's right here. You can come up with some really cool ideas with that. Okay, so I'm going to use this handy little feature here. Reset preset. All right, now so on to the parameters. If we take a look at the mixer here, uh, you can see we have options for input, output, and mix. Uh, we also have a handy little limiter button here, which I like to use personally. Um, that's just to make sure that you're not clipping above zero, which is very important. Now keep in mind that these are the power buttons on each of these parameters. So this, 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 and this, and this. But we're going to bypass all of them right now. So next we have drive. Um, and this has three different settings. Overdrive, distortion, and saturation. Those are all right here. I personally enjoy how distortion sounds. So I'm going to select that for now. Okay, now down here we have the compressor, which has all these different settings right here for different uh, scenarios, different sounds that you're working with. And then you have your gain reduction meter right here, and that just kind of tells you, it gives you a better visual of what it's doing to your sound, which is very important. All right, now next comes the stereo separation tool. Uh, this can be used to either narrow your sound field or widen it to kind of give it a doubling effect and give it like a nice rich sounding bass. Uh, this is great because it's important to get your low end sounds to sit right in your mix. A lot of times this means either widening or narrowing the sound field to get it to sit right. Now in the middle here is the three band EQ, uh, which has the high and low shelves right here. You can switch back and forth between them and edit them. We'll get to that in a second. And then we have our handy peak. So right below that, we have level, Q, and frequency. You can do some really powerful stuff with this. All right, now last but not least, we got our filter, which has a low pass and a high pass. And then below that, we have our options for the cutoff and resonance. Now, it's important to note that the order these effects go in are like this. Input, input meter, doubling, stereo separation, EQ, drive, filter, compressor, mix, output, limiter, and output meter. Now onto the fun part. Let's use all these parameters to see what we can do to make this bass thump. 